Mental models are like glasses. They help us see the world in a certain way. By learning and applying mental models, we can improve our problem-solving skills and make better decisions. Charlie Munger, the investing wizard and witty wordsmith, is an absolute legend in the business world. As the trusty sidekick of the renowned Warren Buffett, he's the vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, the ultimate financial powerhouse. What makes him a powerhouse in the finance world? Find out by watching this video, so you clearly don't want to miss out on this one. Munger's not your ordinary businessman. This guy is a real-life superhero with a razor-sharp mind and an incredible knack for making money. He is known for his extensive use of mental models, which are cognitive frameworks or concepts that help analyze and solve problems. If you didn't know, a mental model is like a little map in your head. It helps you understand how the world works. Mental models are made up of our beliefs, assumptions, and expectations about how things work. They help us make sense out of the world around us and make decisions. It is said that Charlie Munger has about 100 mental models in his head, but no need to worry, because he says you don't need to know them all. So here are a few of his best. Let's first talk about inversion. Inversion is like flipping a problem on its head. Instead of just thinking about how to achieve success, you start by asking, how can I avoid failure? Well, by applying inversion, one can identify the potential pitfalls, risks, or mistakes that could lead to unfavorable outcomes. By understanding and addressing these negative factors, it becomes possible to increase the chances of success. Imagine you're starting a business. Instead of only thinking about how to make it a hit, you think about what could make it go belly up. By considering the potential risks or market challenges that could lead to failure, you can take preventative measures and come up with backup plans to tackle those issues head on. It's like playing a game of what could go wrong and then making sure you've got strategies in place to handle those situations. It's a way of looking at things from a different perspective, spotting blind spots and addressing weaknesses before they come back to bite you. Inversion is all about being proactive and thinking about the opposite scenario. By doing so, you gain a clearer understanding of the risk involved, make smarter decisions, and increase your chances of success. Let's talk about multiple mental models. Munger knows that relying on just one way of thinking can limit your perspective. So he says, hey, why not mix it up? Grab ideas from all over the place. It's like having a mental buffet where you can pick and choose the juiciest bits from different dishes. By having this mental model mashup, Munger believes you can tackle problems in a more badass way. You get a broader understanding of the world and see connections that others might miss. It's like putting on different pairs of glasses to get a clearer picture. For example, when analyzing an investment opportunity, Munger might consider psychological principles related to human behavior, economic theories about supply and demand, historical patterns in the industry, and other relevant factors. This approach allows him to gain a deeper understanding of the situation and make better, timely decisions. Now with this multidisciplinary approach, Munger becomes a real problem solver. He's not stuck in one rigid way of thinking. Instead, he's flexible, adaptable, and ready to kick problems in the butt with his mental model arsenal. What is the Lollapalooza effect? Well, the Lollapalooza effect is a mental model that Charlie Munger often discusses. It is a situation where multiple psychological biases or factors team up, resulting in an exaggerated or extreme outcome. Now, this is a little hard to explain, so bear with us. Imagine you've got a bunch of crazy psychological biases running around, colliding and crashing into each other like a rock concert gone wild. An example can be the stock market. One day, there's this huge bubble forming. People are going crazy, buying stocks left and right. Now, here come the biases, one after another, like the headlining acts on stage. First up, we've got the social proof bias. It's like everyone's chanting, buy, buy, buy. You feel the pressure to follow the crowd, even if it doesn't make much sense. Next, we've got confirmation bias. You start cherry picking information that supports your belief that the market will keep going up. You conveniently ignore any signs that things might go south. 
the availability bias jumps in here, making you focus on recent success stories and conveniently forgetting about any past market crashes. It's like the DJ spinning the latest hits, making you dance to the upbeat tunes and forgetting about reality. Now, here's where it gets crazy. All these biases start colliding and amplifying each other. It's like a mosh pit of irrationality, where people are making decisions based on a cocktail of biases, not realizing they're getting caught up in the madness. The Lollapalooza effect is a wake-up call, a reminder that we need to be aware of our biases and how they can team up to create chaos. Circle of Competence You've got this sweet spot, your playground of knowledge and expertise. That's your circle of competence. According to Munger, you should stick to what you know and stay within your circle. Don't go wandering off into unknown territory like a lost puppy. When you make decisions or investments, focus on what you understand like the back of your hand. That's where you're in your element, where you can truly shine. Why is it important? Well, when you operate in your circle of competence, You've got the skills and knowledge to assess risks, spot opportunities, and make wise choices. Munger warns against straying too far from your circle. Don't go playing with fire by investing in stuff you don't get or diving into complex financial instruments that make your head spin. That's just asking for trouble. Luckily, the circle of competence isn't set in stone. You can expand it over time. Do you know how? By being a lifelong learner. Keep exploring new areas, gaining knowledge, and gradually pushing the boundaries of your circle. That way, you can grow your expertise and make smarter decisions along the way. Margin of Safety It is a crucial mental model in investing that Charlie Munger often emphasizes. The concept of margin of safety is rooted in the idea of protecting oneself against uncertainty and potential losses. In the investing world, the margin of safety is like finding a hidden treasure chest. It's all about buying an asset, whether it's a stock or a property, at a price way below what it's valued at. It's like snagging a designer handbag for a fraction of its usual price. Talk about a steal. Now, why do we care about this? Well, life's unpredictable, and in the world of investing, things can go south. The market can be moody, companies can hit rough patches, or unforeseen events can mess things up. That's where the margin of safety comes in. By buying assets with an insane discount, you're building yourself a safety net. It's like having a cushion to soften any blows or surprises that might come your way. Similar to wearing a helmet while riding a bike, you protect yourself from potential bumps and bruises. Here's the best part. When you've got the margin of safety, you're in a prime position to make some serious cash. When the market realizes that the asset is undervalued and starts catching up, you can sell it for a sweet profit. But hold up, it's not just about investing. The margin of safety mindset applies to everyday life too. Let's say you're planning a road trip. There might be detours, traffic, or surprises along the way. So you leave early, pack extra snacks, carry extra cash, and have a few backup plans. That's your margin of safety in action, making sure you're prepared for whatever comes your way. What do you think about these mental models? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's video and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to always be updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.